Я приветствую всех уважаемых подписчиков. Сегодня я имею возможность поговорить с моим другом, с Хосе. Он знает очень много языков. Хосе отличный полиглот. Мы с ним встретились в Нью-Йорке. И сегодня мы поговорим об изучениях языках, об изучении языков на английском. И транскрипт будет доступен тоже на моем сайте, чтобы могли понять, о чем примерно идет речь. Привет, Тамир. Ребят, привет, Хосе. Я тогда, с твоего позволения, перейду на английский. Hello, Jose. <laughs> Отлично. Hello, Jose. How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm excellent. Thank you. How are you doing today? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for t taking your time. And uh, could you please briefly introduce yourself and tell us what languages do you speak? Yes, uh, my name is Jose. I was, uh, I was born in Mexico, but I grew up in the United States. Mm -hmm. And my native language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. And um, English I learned uh, as a child when I was uh, four or five years old. Yeah. And I currently speak uh, seven languages as well. And I mm -hmm. speak uh, another five at a beginner and intermediate level. Mm -hmm. uh, the languages I speak well are English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, mm -hmm. Catalan, and Romanian. Mm -hmm. And the language I study at a more basic level are German, Polish, uh, Russian, Dutch, and Latin. Mm -hmm. That's uh, fantastic. That's a very good set of languages. And so all the ro Romance languages are at the advanced level, and uh, in other uh, European language, other European languages, that's uh, more upper intermediate, intermediate level. Yeah, yeah all the Germanic and and Slavic mm -hmm. languages, which have a, a grammar mm -hmm. that differs from the Romance languages. Yeah, fantastic, man. Yeah, wow, that's a that's a very good set. And um, when did you start learning languages by yourself? So we can say that uh, Spanish and English were uh, our native almost, languages. Yeah, mm -hmm. were almost given for you like, for for free. And uh, what, mm -hmm. what 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 <laughs> languages? Uh, the, like when did you realize that you can actually put a decent amount of effort and learn languages up to? Uh, I think I that? I started to realize when I was 15 years old in high school, mm -hmm. and I took my first Italian class, and I realized that it was so similar to Spanish that. Um, mm -hmm. It was easy to understand the grammar and easy to put um, to create mm -hmm. sentences and speak it correctly. Mm -hmm. And so after that, I realized, well, maybe I could branch out into other Romance languages yeah. and also have success with them and understand their grammar without having without it being too complex for me. Yeah, sure. So uh, yeah, you you basically answered my next question. Now I was going to ask you what was the first language that you learned by yourself. So uh, it well, was, the, it was uh, Italian. I learned Italian in school, mm -hmm. but the first language I learned. Uh, mm -hmm. On my own, I say it was Romanian in college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first language I learned out of the classroom. Um, mm -hmm. I started by listening to songs, and then I mm -hmm. looked up um, the grammar and then definition of words on my own. And then little by little, I kind of pieced together sentences until I, mm -hmm. at one point, started to make up my own creative sentences. Yeah, fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I, I know when we speak on Skype, you, you know that I like listening to Catalan. I, I cannot mm -hmm. uh, really speak it, but it's, but it's always nice to, it's, it's a very nice language to, to listen to. And I, I know that you also learn Catalan and, and you speak it well. Uh, one can say, in theory, that it's a small language and the fact that 99.9% uh, of, of the speakers of, of Catalan speak Spanish as their uh, native language, but, and yet you were motivated and uh, went all the way. What, what yeah, actually, was your um, main uh, yeah, driving uh, force? As I grew up, yeah. I actually never heard uh, about Catalan. I never knew that mm -hmm. it existed. And then when I was in college, I was in a Spanish literature, literature class, and my teacher was in Perpignan, which mm -hmm. is a Catalan-speaking city in the southern France. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I think I had um, that piqued my interest to find out more about the language. And after mm -hmm. I realized it was a Romance language, I was um, extremely motivated to find out in what ways it was different, in what ways it was similar to the mm -hmm. other Romance languages um, that I already knew. Yeah. So, so the fact that uh, it has a relatively small number of speakers and, uh, and that all the speakers speak either, either French or Spanish as their mm -hmm. like, secondary native language, that, that did not discourage you? That, because uh, not you were at so... all, actually, because I thought that made the language mm -hmm. a lot uh, more special because mm -hmm. everything I learned was something completely new. I learned words that were very unique to mm -hmm. Catalan that didn't exist in any of the other languages, so I felt that I was learning something... Uh, very new and something very special. So every the whole learning process for me was uh, very mm -hmm. exciting. It's just the sense of discovery. So I was very motivated to learn more and see what more I could discover. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, you, you, if we talk about your uh, kind of driving forces, your sources of mm -hmm. motivation, that uh, 
that cu curiosity to discover something new was over that uh, mm -hmm. you know return that, that, on investment thing. Yeah. One of the main motivation uh, for mm -hmm. me to learn a new language is that, that sense mm -hmm. of discovery to see like mm -hmm. uh, what's out there. Like by learning yeah. this language, what what can I gain access to? What other culture yeah. points? Yeah, that's what I try to communicate to to my subscribers in my videos that uh, many people want to learn languages and hope to improve their financial situation or get a better job. Mm -hmm. But that uh, simply learning a language because it, it would be it would give you an advantage to get a better job that that wouldn't do you ha you have to really be interested in in discovering something mm -hmm. new it, it has to be something else apart from uh, oh that would be useful to know mm -hmm. like, or I could use this ad to gain a, yeah. a promotion in my job yeah so uh, yeah that that should be also the the driving force and and, uh, and also uh, um after I went to Barcelona and I really mm -hmm. um was mesmerized by the city. I think I had an even mm -hmm. higher motivation to learn the language after I yeah. saw it in a real life situation on the si mm -hmm. street signs and in stores, mm -hmm. and even at the bookstore where they had a lot of literature. So I'm like, finally, mm -hmm. I have access to books in the language. Good stuff. In Barcelona. And, uh, and yeah, and uh, my last question for today: uh, Why do you think so many people do not follow through with their language learning? And what piece of advice could you give them if you could just? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I think um, they don't follow through because they don't see the results that they want. Maybe mm -hmm. they, they start learning a language, and then within three to four months, they don't. Um, they're not able to speak it fluently, and then they get mm -hmm. discouraged and frustrated. I mm -hmm. think uh, the cause of this is because they're not using the correct learning method that accommodates mm -hmm. their learning style. For example, I love um, reading grammar books, but some people mm -hmm. hate it, and so uh, each person has to find the learning style or the method that accommodates to their personal learning style, and that's mm -hmm. when they find success. And after they find their learning style, they can learn any language they want. Fantastic! Yeah, something that. Uh, so, so basically, you gotta you gotta know yourself. Yeah, know know thyself. Mm -hmm. as they say. Know if you yeah. if you like listening to songs or mm -hmm. studying grammar. If you like uh, learning mm -hmm. to speak it first and then learning the rules first, mm -hmm. find look for that uh, method that works for you. Mm -hmm. Fantastic! So there is no uh, uh, best way to learn languages. So th there are several ways you can get to, mm -hmm. to the same. To the same level, basically. Several ways to, to reach your, yeah. your goals at that, that mm -hmm. point of success you want to have. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you for this uh, conversation about languages. It was, uh, it was very good, and I, I, I know that uh, my subscribers will, will certainly gain a lot of value from this Oh, thank you for the opportunity yeah. to speak with you. Mm -hmm. uh, вы только что послушали интервью с Хосе. Линк, uh, ссылку к каналу Хосе я оставлю в описании к этому видео, и... Вы можете также посмотреть его другие видео, где он ä, записывает ä, видео про изучение языков не только на английском, но еще и на других языках. Всем спасибо, и мы услышимся спасибо с вами. Да, пожалуйста, okay. и мы услышимся с вами в следующих видео. Всем пока.